Hello traders, in this video I will teach you a strategy for the Ethereum which is one of the most profitable strategies I have been using so far. It is for H1 chart and it is very easy to apply it. So what I will do now is I will open one chart for the Ethereum, right click over it in the market watch and I click on chart window and again I will use a template black background so all of them will be similar and I will switch to one hour time frame now this strategy I have called just the will ethereum h1 because it uses the Williams percent range indicator. All right, I got oscillators and I click on Williams percent range. So for period, I will be using 38 and as level, I will have level of negative 35. And then on the top, I will have obviously 65. As we said, they sum always to 100. And actually in this case with the Williams percent range they are negative and I click on OK and you will see it displayed below the chart. And as well we have exit indicator which is the D marker and I will go to oscillators D marker and we have period of 28 and we have levels of 30 and we have level of 70 okay here it is 0 70 and i click on okay and you will see the d marker below the chart so the exit indicator is that we want to see the d marker crossing the level line upward all right so before i share with you what is the stop loss and the take profit for this strategy just want to make sure that you understand the entry and the exit so for example right here you see that the Williams percent range crosses the level line upward and that's an entry or at this moment we buy okay there is another entry right here so if we took that trade we would still be into the trade because the level line that the demarker must cross is the 0.30 not 0.70 okay so in this case over here where you see the demarker crossing upwards that is the exit for the long trade but you can see that actually right here the entry comes a little bit later all right so let me look for some decent examples because the exit is when the demarker crosses the level line upwards but it's the 0 30 level not uh, the 0 70 so I'll just need to look for an example and here it is okay right here we have an example so here you see that the Williams percent range crosses the level line upwards and I will put a horizontal line and a vertical line here is the cross on the opening of next one here it is I will put a horizontal line which I will change to green since this is a long trade here is the entry now what I see is that the demarker crosses the 70 it goes down and when it crosses the 0 30 up this is an example that I saw with the exit condition okay right over here let me put it precisely so the cross is here and here it is so at that moment we should be taking the profit because of uh, the exit condition okay the demarker goes up down and when it goes up again and crosses the 0 30 we are taking the profit okay in this case we are losing a lot of the profit but that's just an example that i noticed however let's see if the stop loss or the take profit would be hit in this example so we have entry level of 382.87 and the take profit for this strategy is $90 which would make it 472.87 yeah 472.87 oh, okay that's too high okay too high 400 I will place it anyway 472 
87 72 i will leave it to 72 somewhere okay 72 and then we have the stop loss which is at 15 dollars lower okay so the entry is at 382.87 and $15 lower, I will change it to red and that would make it 367.87, okay? I click on okay and you see, all right, so this example, what happens, we have the Williams percent range crossing the level line upward, we buy on the opening of the next candle and then the price goes up, down, doesn't reach the stop loss, goes up again and it fails to take the take profit which is higher. So with this strategy we have a very good risk reward, stop loss of $15 and take profit of $90. And after that you see that we must exit because of the demarker when it crosses the level line 30 upwards right over here so we still benefit in this case that would be distance of 28 dollars and 37 cents i think so still a profitable trade but you see it would be of course better if the take profit was hit however i pick random examples from the chart so i will be able to show you different outcomes as i said there will be always different outcome on the market and i would like to show you as well some negative trade i think we have one right here yep exactly right over here you see that the williams percent range crosses the level line downwards so first it crosses it right here. Let me remove all of the lines so you will not get confused. I will just show it quickly. The Williams percent range crosses the level line downward, the negative 65, first time in here. Then it crosses a few times here and then here and here. It's like four time right in this period. But I think no matter which one, you take it will end up on loss because after that the price goes up and it will hit the stop loss okay even if we take the first one which is at this bar the price is 390 we have stop loss of 15 which will make it at 405 so right here we are taking the loss and it's not reaching the take profit and as well we need to see the D marker crossing the level line of 070 downwards right right over here would be the exit so yeah first we have the stop loss so that's a negative trait but you can see simply what happens the price goes down and then it reverses and you should know that this happens on the market okay but here I see a very nice example okay we have the Williams percent range crossing the level line upwards here it is we buy on the opening of next bar so the cross is at that moment and then on the opening of the next one we take the trade here it is let me put very quickly just the entry and I will not put the take profit and the stop loss you will see why it's not needed I will switch it just quickly to green color okay so here is the entry let me zoom and I will put it just precisely on the opening of the bar so you see what happens the D marker goes up above the 70 goes down here it touches it it's not really going under and then going above that would be an exit so if I put the mouse you will see that the value is 0302 okay very close but it's not a cross okay we want to see the D marker going below the level then going up and that would be the exit but in this case that didn't happen it happened right over here all right so this is at the price of what is it right over here the price is 388 okay still we are getting the profit let me zoom out so you can see where is that here is the entry price goes up and here we are taking the profit at around 388 so this is about 
$70 of a profit. But as we said, we have take profit of $90, which means that if we enter at $318, plus $90, that would be 408.31, 408.31, is it reached? Oh, no, very close. Okay, see these candlesticks here, they reach to, if I put the mouse on the closing, you will see where they reach. They have high of 406, okay? So that's one of the examples where we see the price getting very close to the take profit, but it doesn't close there. This is what I've said. If I'm in front of the computer and I see the price going very close to the take profit, I will just close the trade and take a little bit smaller profit, but there is always the risk the price to reverse. However, in this case, we are still on a profit because of the exit condition of the D marker. All right, guys, so that's quite interesting and simple strategy for the Ethereum with very good risk reward. As I've said, take profit of $90 and stop loss of $15. If you have any questions about this Ethereum strategy, make sure to write in the comments below. And if you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you in the next one.